Bridge, and then a pair of 412s, maybe. Wait a minute, 410s? Well, we have 410s are what we've been using. Wait, wait a minute. How about 10 fours? It's never been done. Think about it. What we did last time was 410s. <laughs> On, on each side, and then we had a... Now, these babies, they got to be big. You hear me? Big? You know what I mean? So let's do... I mean, like, friggin... I mean, big. Big, big. So, so tall, word. big? Big. Big. Yes. All right, well, tall then... Tall sideways as well. Good. Well, that, that was my next question, because we, we were only that <laughs> wide last time. I'd like to go wider and bigger. Taller, fatter, stronger. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to hear this thing on the bottom. Yeah. Let's uh, give it a shot. And you know what? I love the idea of having Marshall cabinets as part of my... Do you? Stuff. Wouldn't that be neat? It would be neat. It would be like neat. Like in the middle, have a... Oh. a Marshall stack in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. I mean... We can go that route. Because a lot of the, you know, the English guys in the uh, late 60s, they played through Marshall stacks. You know, and they did, I don't think they necessarily made... A bass amp. You, we had Motorhead on stage with us when we did uh, mm -hmm. Donington. Yeah. You, you didn't get to see it, I don't think. But yeah, I, I did. Have, I was you know, oh, did to you? the side where it was safe. I had to walk out before they went on stage and just look at that rig, and it was all Marshalls. Lemmy's. It's a crack in his head. You can't go out in front of their amps without getting a crack in your head. <laughs> Listen, I've had far worse. Or getting it in your head before you go.